Welcome to our pickup truck toddler class. I'm your teacher today, Miss Laura. Let's unbox your kit. Inside, first you'll find your instructions and a fun doodle challenge. You'll get lots of paint to paint your project, some crayons, two pretty blue paint brushes, your pickup truck, your stand, and some rocks. Be sure to get a paper towel and a cup of water for rinsing your brushes and drying them. Today we're going to be learning about shapes. Come practice your doodle challenge with me. Do you know that shapes are everywhere in the world? What's your favorite shape? I think mine's a circle. Practice tracing with me. What shape do you see here? That's right, it's a circle. Now let's trace. Pick your favorite color. Start at the top and work your way around to the bottom and all the way back up, connecting at the top. Great job. Now try drawing your own circle down here. Starting at the top, all the way down to the bottom and back up, connecting at the top. Great job. Now continue learning all your other shapes. You can pause this video here to continue working on your worksheets. Once you're done with those, we're going to read a fun story. Welcome back. Today we're reading Good Night, Good Night Construction Site, Bulldozer Shapes by Sherry Dusky Rinker and Ethan Long. At a new construction site, Bulldozer revs up with delight. He sees the messy, rugged view. Woohoo! There's so much awesome work to do. Can you guys find all the squares in this picture? Crane truck will help to point the way. They'll get this site in shape today. Can you guys point where you see all the circles in this picture? Big Bulldozer starts to run and push right through to start the fun. Crane Truck goes high to check the view and see what Dozer needs to do. Crane Truck plans the job with care. Wait, Crane shouts, start over there. Can you guys point out all of the triangles you see in this photo? Bulldozer nods, he's off to play and carve a squiggle on the way. Can you guys trace the squiggle with your finger? He gathers boulders, makes a stack, charging forward and gliding back. With great power, he rolls and wrangles those rocks into a tall triangle. Can you trace the triangle with your finger? Then he moves great piles of ground into a circle, nice and round. Go ahead, trace that circle with your finger. Go left now, calls out Crane Truck, but watch that hole or you'll get stuck. Bulldozer clears huge piles of sand and forms a diamond in the land. Can you guys find the giant diamond? He collects all kinds of rusty drunk into one massive metal hunk and soon all the mangled tangled is set into a neat rectangle. Can you guys point out the giant rectangle? Bulldozer moves 10 gravel hills with perfect skill so nothing spills. He gathers piles near and far and makes one mound shape like a star. He shifts down hard to push and scrape and makes a road an oval shape. Can you find the star an oval? Crane truck points, you're almost done. Bulldozer makes his one last run. He moves away old trees and stumps and levels all the hills and humps. Now the site is flat and bare, perfect, smooth, and giant square. Can you find all the shapes you recognize? Yep. 
the end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Now it's time to have fun painting our projects. You're going to get all sorts of fun colors to paint with in these cute little containers. Can you tell what shape that is? That's right, it's a circle. You've got black, red, silver, and green, plus an extra special speckled paint in here. I'm gonna show you how this speckled paint works. This is how you make the color of sand. Mix it up really good. And remember, this paint is washable. It's okay to make a mess. Make your fun road shape by using a squiggle, just like we learned in the book. Do you remember tracing the squiggle with your finger? Draw both sides of the road. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just have fun. Fill in your squiggle. As you're painting, you're gonna notice that there's some little speckles in your paint. That is totally normal. Have a closer look. Make sure that you do three coats of paint. We've just done our first. Now once it's dry, we're gonna add our second on. You're gonna notice your dark, dirt road is gonna get much darker. That's really important. Once you're done painting your whole project and you send it back to us, everything gets fired in our kiln. It's a giant oven, it gets really hot. This is how your sand's gonna look after we bake it. Now remember, have fun when you're painting your project. Don't worry too much about being perfect and staying in the lines, just have fun. When you're done and you drop off your pottery to us, it's gonna go in that kiln. When you get to pick it up, it's gonna be nice and shiny like this. <laughs> beep, beep. Thank you for joining us for this week's Glaze Virtual Summer Camp class. Be sure to like and subscribe to get those notifications for our future classes. We appreciate you supporting our small business.